Welcome everybody to episode 55 of our podcast where we discuss the life of Paul and the encounters he had with people while he was here on earth and just the relationships that he had. And Gerald, this one here is once again, you know, and I, I love just when I read this and, I, and I'm thinking, you know, we think this hero of, of faith in the Bible and every relationship he, he had should have been this holy relationships yeah. and this this peaceful, ama- peaceful you know <laughs> shalom uh, relationships uh, and uh, most of them what we read it's not it's not it's not, it's not that way yeah yeah he gets to confront someone yeah so this story this name gets mentioned it's not even a guy he actually ends up for lack of a better word liking by jesus um elamas is what they call it the, in the sorcerer Greek. the sorcerer yeah uh, he's he's a false prophet and uh, Paul rocks up. And, and again, I think even before we say what we want to say about this, let's just learn the lesson that um, just because you call to an island and God has sent you there does not take away from you the possibility of a difficult time. Yeah. I, just, I don't know where we get that in the church. We, uh, God said, I'm going there. Oh, now tough times happen. Or there's difficult people. Mm. People have been difficult from the beginning. Yeah. From the beginning. They're difficult. Yeah. And people is people. People we, are people. We're not perfect. Yeah, Paul wasn't perfect. He yeah. wasn't perfect. Yeah, and um this guy this guy actually, um, just so you know, Paul and Barnabas hit Cyprus. They're gonna be evangelizing, they're telling people about Jesus, the good news about Jesus, da 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 da. da. This guy's going around saying, I'm encouraging you. Actually, the king of um, or, uh, the, the 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 ruler of of Cyprus sent him. Don't serve this Jesus. Don't serve. so he's doing all these negative things and actually speaking against Paul them's work. Yeah, and um, and then Paul obviously loses his cool a bit. I just find it very interesting, and it, it might be a bit ironic, but that this person is called Bar Jesus, <laughs> that it's so close to the truth. He's a sorcerer that also does magic tricks, not miracles. <laughs> It was magic tricks that he does, did. And it's so easily, f- we get easily deceived sometimes. And I think, you know, obviously with the emperor that he had a relationship with, to think this might be the real thing. Mm-hmm. And we need to have, you know, we need to be at a place where we can discern what is what is complete, what is good, what is evil yeah. in that place. Is. I, think, I, think, I think you're absolutely right. Eh? Specifically in the generation we're serving, and I'm including me and you, mm-hmm. we're, we're dramatic or we're entertained. Yeah. I know that's a word you absolutely despise and hate and all the rest of it. It's a word that I keep on saying, Rainer, but that's our reality and all the rest of it. But, but this guy was able to do sorcery. Now, I don't know if you've checked these oaks who do all these card tricks. I, I love watching yeah, <laughs> some of those tricks. I like uh, being entertained. Pray for him. <laughs> <laughs> pray for him. Yeah. No, but <laughs> I love the skill that the people have. <laughs> I'm just flabbergasted. Yeah. I haven't got a clue how they do it, but then they take... A card and they flip this, but that's what this guy was doing. He was, yeah. and 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 people perceived him as a very as a prophet. Yeah, you know, as yeah. a prophet, he was a false prophet. He was a false prophet. Yeah. And he had the ear of the ruler. And yet these guys come in; they're speaking about servanthood, being humble, repenting. You know. And you could just understand how they get mocked. And then he's put in a situation, Paul, where the power of God needs to show itself. And I think that's something we can yeah. talk about. We need to go everywhere with a spirit of humility, not confrontational, but pushed enough, we need to tap into the power of God. Yeah. And, and Paul, Paul does that. Paul turns around to this guy and he says to him, man, in, in Acts 13, he says, now the hand of the Lord is against you. Sure. You are going to be blind for a time. It was only for a time. Not even able to see the light of man. Immediately mist and darkness came over him and he groped about seeking someone to lead him away. And, uh, and Paul taps into the power of God and he speaks a word over that man. And that man goes blind for a time. Mm. And... Uh, sure. So that everyone else now could suddenly realize, listen, yeah, Paul is functioning under the power mm. and the anointing of God. And I don't think we must lose that as well. As much as we mm. need to, 
you know, not always be confrontational. There are moments where we need to draw into the power of God so that God's power revealed absolutely just shuts everybody else up. I think that words that Paul spoke there for me is, a, is very important. We say is, um, the power of God will come against you, basically. Mm. And the hand, of the, Lord. the hand of the Lord will come against you. And there's a scripture, and I can't re- remember the exact scripture, what it is, but it says God opposes those who are proud. Yes, sir. And um, for me, that is, we sometimes forget the power if God opposes us. If we are proud, do we do have pride in our lives and we're going on trying to do our own thing, you know, and deceiving people with what is not the truth and entertaining them with what is not truth, uh, we should be careful of that the hand of God won't come against us. Uh, you're right. You know, partner, I, I, I mean this. I really do mean this. I totally understand. And we, 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 we banter you and I a little yeah. bit and stuff like that, but I totally understand that church has moved on. And for a lack of a better word, people need the experience. They do. Yeah. They need the experience. They need music. They need, you know, they, they, they need all those things. It's the day. It's the age. But it doesn't mean they don't need the truth. Yeah, I agree. And I think that's what you've always wanted to defend. You know, what, what are we talking about here? Um, the truth, the truth. And, and that's where Paul really impresses me. He's, he's ready to engage people. Mm. He's, he's ready to be a Greek to the Greeks, a Jew to the Jews. He's ready to be everything to everybody. But he will not give up the truth. Yeah. And that works and for that, me. Yeah. And the truth will set you free. And I, I hope, love it. I really hope that by Jesus after that, that he was blind, but now he can see. That he, he experienced God's amazing grace as well, even in that time. We'll talk about that. Yeah, no, definitely. I think he comes around. Yeah, so if you did enjoy this podcast, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can share it. You can listen to the audio as well on Spotify. And from our side, nothing but love. Nothing but love, friends.